In this video, this Muslim goes on a bizarre tangent talking about someone committing zina with his own mother. Stick around to find out more. Hello everyone and welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslim spreading the light of Jesus Christ and exposing the dark of all evil. If you want to learn more, smash the subscribe button now. I'm your favorite host Zeke and this next video shocks me. Roll the clip. There is one sin that if you die upon it, Allah is not going to forgive it. What is that one sin? Let me ask you guys a question. If one now commits zina with his mother, with his mother, huh? and then he ends up killing her, and then he buries her alive, and not buries her, he ends up burying her. But he had a tawheed. He had a tawheed. Committed zina with his mother, ended up killing her, and then he buried her with his own hands. Which one is worth? This one? Or the one who really looked after his mother. He was dutiful to her. Huh? He would maybe even wash her feet every single night. But then, he just called on to the Messenger of Allah and said, Oh Messenger of Allah, remove my difficulties. And then he died upon that. Which one is worse? The first or the second? Second. Because he died upon shirk and Allah says in the Quran, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi wa yaghfiru ma'duna dhalik. Allah forgives everything. Huh? Allah forgives everything. Meaning if you were to die upon it, except if you were to die upon shirk. You die upon shirk, you're never coming out of the hellfire. Forever and ever you're going to abide there. I don't understand how any of those people could take this guy seriously. I mean, if you're going to make an example, why even talk about something so vulgar and horrible? The man claims that dying in shirk, meaning dying in idolatry slash polytheism worship, is completely irredeemable. However, Muslims regularly travel to the Kaaba to worship and circumambulate around the Black Stone. Hadith Sayyid Bukhari 26.667 Umar came near the black stone Kaaba and kissed it and said, No doubt, I know that you are stone and can neither benefit anyone nor harm anyone. Had I not seen Allah's messenger kissing you, I would not have kissed you. Muslims use disgusting examples like this all the time, repeating themselves in the same way as the man in the video did to try to brainwash you into servitude. Jesus died for our sins so that we can have a relationship with the true God. 1 Peter 3.18 For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh but made alive in the spirit. Muslims, leave this religion and come to Christ. That's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you smash the subscribe button now and hit the bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Support some people on Patreon. Your boy Zeke, out.